What's going on, everybody? Doc, Average Gamer Guys, back yet again, more Escape from Tarkov action. And jumping into another Teaching Tarkov video, this time focused on a Customs Map Overview. Uh, I should say up front that this video is intended for those that, again, are a little bit newer to the Tarkov scene or have been out of the Tarkov scene for a little while and just trying to get a good refresh on information, especially considering that there have been quite a few map updates and changes as we've gone along. This video is being recorded as of patch 12.11.2, so if you're ever watching, if you are watching this in the future, please do keep that in mind. Uh, there's a ton of information that we can cover in these map overviews and these guides, and I think it's important to focus on a couple of key areas. So I really have three inside of this video that I want to cover. Certainly, if there's additional discussion or an opportunity to do a follow-up video uh, specific to, you know key areas such as loot runs or stash runs uh, we'll look to do those here in the future three things that we want to focus on in this video is going to be just generally a map overview so we're going to spend some time on the map talking about the points of interest especially if you're jumping in and starting to learn the map hopefully i can point out good key areas for you to focus on get your bearings a little bit uh, and have good general understanding of the map in addition i want to talk about the flow of the map generally where pmcs are going to go so to those points of interest and why quest related high loot areas uh, boss, spa, boss and scav spawn specifically. Uh, so we'll spend some time talking about that. Second portion that we want to talk about is I do want to cover the boss specific to the map. Generally talk about the gear, uh, where they're going to be, and a little bit of, around the tactics uh, that you can employ in order to be successful in fighting them. Lastly, I'm going to cover keys. So I'm going to cover both the quest keys that are needed for the map. Uh, so good full complement. So hopefully that's a good resource for folks. Again, I'll have key markers down uh, below in the comments if you want to jump to any of those sections. I'm also going to talk about the keys that I like to bring in the map, both from a loot perspective or those that are just really solid utility keys. And Customs has a ton, so I think it's going to be a good start for us uh, as we jump into these map guides. I am looking to do more of these as we move forward, so stay tuned to the channel if these interest you. If you have anything else that you want to see as far as the map guide is concerned, please drop it in the comments below. But without further ado, let's jump in. Let's talk a little bit of custom. All right, so first things first, let's just jump in and talk very quickly about a map overview and a couple of the key points of interest. Uh, it's important to note, and I got to give a big shout out to the official Escape from Tarkov wiki. I'm going to post the link in the description below. ton of great information on that website. You can find this map there, pull up on a second monitor. I really recommend that, especially if you are newer, just to help you get your bearings, especially as you start to learn this map. With Customs, Customs is typically going to be the map that a lot of players, early players, new players, are going to learn and probably learn first really well, uh, in large part to a big number of early and even mid-game quests taking place here. In addition, there is some pretty solid loot that can be found uh, between dorms, fortress, a couple of other points of interest and areas. This map has a plethora of hidden stashes uh, that can provide a pretty solid stash run route uh, for making money as well. Uh, in addition to Rashala Scav boss spawning here, uh, which is a pretty good boss to fight and consistent to be able to provide some early to mid game loot uh, if you're able to take him down. I want to talk about this map and just give a general overview of how it flows. Think about this map being split basically into technically the west and the east side. Uh, it is a pretty linear map as far as Escape from Tarkov is concerned, which is if you spawn on the west side over here, you can always be assured that your extracts are going to be on the east side. And the same thing is true for the opposite end. Uh, basically, the center line of this map, uh, I'll point out dorms VX extract here. You've got dorms here. And then it basically goes down through the center portion of the construction. Fortress, which is a new add uh, and the most recent add to this map. Um, that's basically the center line for this map. Now, there are, have been some recent changes to spawns, uh, which are going to put you pretty close to the center line uh, on both sides for PMCs, which can be nice, but can also mean that you can get into some pretty quick action in some of these points of interest uh, as well. Let's talk about points of interest and just try to keep a really brief and high level overview on why you're going to see what you see when you get there. Probably the most notable feature here on this map is going to be dorms. Surrounded on both sides by forest and some, some hill area, uh, you have the three-story dorms and two-story two dorms. You have your dorms VX extract here, uh, which is a paid extract. You can gain some fence rep from it uh, as you use it. It's not always there, but it is a good option, especially if you push into dorms. Maybe you find up finding Rashala. This is one of his uh, spawn locations, the scav boss for customs. Um, and can be a good option to get out. But dorms is going to get a lot of attention in large part due 
to a huge number of quests require you to either be in uh, in the dorms area or specific rooms in either three-story or two-story dorms. There's also some really solid loot, multiple safes that can be found here uh, and is just generally a big uh, draw for a lot of the PMC action uh, on the map. I'm also going to talk about another point of interest, which is uh, called New Gas Station. Uh, this is another scav boss Rashala spawn, as you can see here. He can't actually float up to the top of this hill, so just be careful about that. Um, this isn't going to be one of the highest trafficked areas, but can get some pretty significant traffic, both for scav spawns if you need some. This military base checkpoint key, as you can see here, and generally this area around checkpoint is a fantastic spot for finding scavs. So there are many quests on customs that require you to find scavs. This is going to be a great location to pick up a couple of those. New Gas uh, has a couple of good spawns. There's a safe in here. Uh, but again, the biggest draw is going to be the fact that Rashala can spawn here and can be kind of a pass-through area as you make your way from one side uh, to the other, specifically those that spawn on the west uh, and even down in this area can travel through kind of New Gas in order to get up to dorms. So just kind of have that in the back of your mind. I do want to point out uh, Old Gas Station. I talked about scavs. This is another great location to find a handful of scavs if you need some uh, for some of your quests. In addition, this little plus mark here marks a med bag, but more importantly marks the Giving Tree. Uh, giving Tree is one of very few locations in all of Tarkov that can spawn any item. So anything from key cards to body armor, uh, to guns, to attachments can all be found underneath the giving tree. Uh, there's also a PMC spawn here, uh, a recent add to that. You have old gas station uh, extract, which isn't always on, but can be uh, for PMCs, which is really good. So you will see some traffic and, uh, you know, kind of uh, some, some interest in this area, specifically for, again, those that spawn on this half of the map as they flow through. They want to avoid dorms. Most likely they're passing through old gas station in order to get towards fortress and the opposite side of the map. Uh, lastly, I want to talk about fortress and really the customs expansion area as a whole. The fortress is the major two story building inside of here. It actually has a basement. So three stories. It is your ZB 13 extract location. If you hit the switch here in warehouse four and you have the factory exit key. This is great both from a loot perspective is also a Rashala spawn uh, location. In addition, at nighttime, uh, cultists will be around in this area, and it's the one place on customs that they will spawn. Um, so this will get a lot of traffic, both from PMCs looking to fight, folks looking to loot, and those that are basically looking to avoid dorms. You also see, uh, and can see in this map, that a lot of folks will kind of travel towards dorms and down to fortress, or vice versa, as they look for PMC fights in this map. Uh, Customs tends to be one of the higher uh, later game maps for um, just PMC on PMC PvP action uh, because there is such a, an interest and a lot to do on this map. You're always guaranteed to have a pretty full lobby here. Uh, I am also going to note this medical building, typically referred to as Crack House. Great location to find some intelligence spawns and one of the best probably loot areas as far as medical items are concerned as well uh, on Customs. So great spot for your Salewas some of your other med items that you just need to be able to pick up, your morphines, things like that that you need for some quests. Last area that I want to cover is going to be uh, this customs building, which is typically called Big Red. This is the Tarkon Director Office Key uh, area. This used to be a huge point of interest with a lot of PMC fights going on. With the changes to PMC spawn locations just dispersed across the map, uh, as well as this customs expansion down here with Fortress, this doesn't get as much action as it used to, uh, but it's still a good area to, to just be aware of. It also does have a couple of buildings. This building here, this building here, have some, some decent little loot spawns uh, and uh, can be really good. The last thing I'm gonna say as far as a map overview, uh, really two things that I wanna cover. Again, just understand that a lot of the flow of this map is going to be funneling towards these points of interest, specifically Fortress, your dorms area, and through construction for those that wanna avoid these two areas uh, your PMC fights most of that stuff is happening here in construction and here uh, with a little bit of spillover here now that's not to say that you certainly can't find people all over this map uh, specifically around this bridge area uh, both these land bridges and this main bridge um, just as people are looking for shooter born and heaven kills but again the majority of the fighting is going to take place in the center portion of this map and again 
it's going to flow pretty much the same way for a lot uh for a lot of time so folks again that are spawning in over here they're going to make their way if they're trying to avoid dorms they're going through old gas maybe coming up into fortress to see what's going on here and then they're moving this way same thing if you get a trailer park spawn you might be coming up maybe you have something to do here in big red come through the main bridge and let's say you have to go to dorms that's generally how you're going to flow you might be able to take the dorms vx extract here and then move through to come down to ZB14, maybe stopping at uh, new gas. So just generally have that idea as far as flow. And if you're looking to avoid that, uh, you can find some pretty solid pathings uh, to be able to do that, specifically actually running kind of near this bus terminal, although you do need to be very careful of the construction area here, uh, as again, it can be uh, the, a common PMC kind of push through area where you will engage some folks. Uh, again, those looking to get away from dorms uh, and the fortress area. One of the last things that I want to cover as part of the map overview is going to be these red highlighted stars, uh, which is are your stash locations for customs. In my opinion, customs has one of the better uh, stash run uh, opportunities and stashes can really present a ton of value and ton of opportunity for a really good money making route if you are looking to pick up or even top off as you move through uh, on your missions specifically if you can pick up a zb11 or even to a certain extent a trailer park uh, spawn you can find yourself a really nice path that's generally going to avoid a lot of conflict do keep in mind that you're going to come pretty close to dorms as you get near bus terminal um, but uh, you should be able to find yourself a really nice stash run opportunity from both sides of the map whether you're again you're coming from trailer park or from zb11 that again can really provide some good value and a good opportunity for some good loot uh, that's just a general map overview hopefully that's helpful for you and hopefully it helps point out a couple of points of interest i should talk about and I, we will talk about boss and boss locations but i want to just highlight those again that dorms new gas station kind of up here on the hill and fortress are the three areas that you are going to find Rashala uh, and the minions as you move through this map. So let's quickly take a, a look at Rashala and the scav boss and his minions for customs. Uh, Rashala, in my opinion, is one of the probably easier scav bosses to fight based on uh, how he interacts with you. He is definitely going to let his minions, the four guards that he have, do the majority of the fighting. Now, he certainly isn't a slouch when you end up fighting him, but he is definitely going to be one that runs traditionally more than stands there and fights with you. Uh, obviously, if you back him into a corner or into a room, he will certainly have a good opportunity to try to kill you, uh, but uh, generally, again, is going to be one that looks to avoid you. Now, it is important to note, he has a 33% spawn chance here on customs, which is really solid. Uh, there are some solid items that you're going to be able to get from the guards specifically that are going to help for some tasks kind of across the board, uh, as well as some really solid armor. He was recently updated to include uh, that his uh, scav boss guards can have slicks uh, in addition to Alton. So some really solid, even late game gear can be found uh, as you look for Rashala. It is important to note uh, that he has 752 total health. Uh, 62 head health is important to note, but he is unarmored. Uh, so he basically runs around, uh, typically with an MP5 or an AK style weapon, has his gold TT on him the majority of the time, not always guaranteed. Uh, and, uh, that's important to note. In addition, his followers, his goss, uh, the boss guards here, they have 630 health, um, and they can be pretty well equipped with, again, class five, class six armor, um, and a few things you do need to kill him for two quests you need to pick up uh, that golden tt if he has it have one that has the founder and raid status in addition you need to kill three guards uh as well so we talked about locations during the map overview but here they are again on a different map you've got again you've got your fortress area here you've got your dorms and then your new gas plus the kind of surrounding hill uh that he can uh fall through so just a quick overview he can have quite a variance of weapons uh, mostly, most of the time, you're going to find some style of AK, either 101 or 102. You can get lucky to find the DT on him, uh, which is pretty solid because it can run M62. Occasionally, he'll have a Saiga. Uh, I would say the other uh, weapon I feel like I find most often with him is this MP5, which actually is pretty solid and has some pretty good attachments on it. Again, the Golden TT is going to be what you need to be able to find for that quest turn in. 
um, and he can also have, I have seen the PL-15 on him pretty recently, um, which can be pretty cool. Here's a good snapshot of the boss guards. These guys definitely can come pretty well armored. A lot of times running an AK style variant of gun, you also find a couple that will run an ADAR with a nice suppressor, good stock on it. Uh, and this AKM, which can have some pretty solid ammo. So be on the lookout for this, uh, being the 366 ammo, uh, AP ammo, which is really, really solid. It's also important to note that these AKs, they can run BP, they can run uh, Eagle Neck, but probably more often you're finding T45M or BT. So just keep your eye out on that. Probably more importantly that you're going to be able to find on the boss guards is alt and face shields. Uh, so be mindful of that if you're engaging and you're looking for those quick head taps. This can certainly uh, absorb quite a bit of damage uh, in addition to the upgraded health uh, that these uh, these boss guards have. And I, I think I mentioned this, but there is four. There's always four guards uh, and they will be pretty aggressive. Um, they will certainly look to protect, uh, but they will push you for sure, uh, especially if they have good line of sight on you and uh, they can be pretty brutal. They do have a large variance of armor that they can have. Sometimes you're gonna be really sad and they're gonna have Paka or Untar armor. Um, but you can also find probably the best armor that you can find, especially found in raid, is going to be the 6B, 6B43 here. They can and have been spawning slicks as well. Uh, so just be on the lookout for that. And then probably less often, uh, but still out there is the Al TV Gen 4, which can be a pretty solid armor uh, to be able to pick up uh, as well. Black Rocks, uh, they have a ton of stuff, but the important thing to note here is the Black Rock chest rig. Probably the location that you're going to find an ability to find found and ray black rocks uh, for your quest. So just keep that in mind. As well as the Wartech rigs, you do need uh, two of these to be able to turn in. So keep your eye out for that. Stash space management wise, black rocks are great. Uh, Wartechs are actually not too bad uh, in and of themselves. As far as kind of mid tier gear, uh, both the M2, your AVS, and your uh, TV10, all really good solid class 4 uh, armored rigs. Uh, so keep a lookout for those as well. Don't plan on getting a really big backpack from these guys. They only have the MDSS, and Rashala does not have one. Uh, so just keep that in the back of your mind. That's a quick overview as far as Rashala and the boys. Uh, again, my preferred location to fight them is actually down here in Fortress, because a lot of times you can get them moving from both the bottom and the top floor. They do have some pretty solid drain and really good uh, line of sight. However, if you have a ranged weapon, even just something like an ADAR, uh, with a decent scope on it you will be able to get some head taps obviously on those that aren't running ultins uh so just keep that in mind dorms is also a pretty preferable area to fight although they can bunch up in the hallway and rashala will typically be sitting uh inside one of the rooms on the side so he can surprise you a little bit probably the least likely spawn area uh, of all three is new gas new gas can be great though uh, if you can get a position up on the hill you can typically shoot right into the back and Rashala will typically spawn either on the back side here, uh, kind of between the blue fence and the building, or right there in the front, and will flow kind of inside uh, of the actual gas station. So please just uh, have a note of that. Uh, but those are the three good locations to find him. And like I said, good boss to fight, some solid loot that you can pick up. And honestly, if you could take down the guards, you should be able to take down Rashala without a whole lot of issues. He can have a key card spawn in his pockets as well. Uh, which is really good for both quests and getting yourself into labs. I want to spend talking about some time talking about keys that are really both beneficial for you from a quest perspective that you need, in addition to some good keys uh, to find some solid loot uh, across the map. So this is a full complement of the keys that both I think you should have for this map, in addition to the ones that you're going to need. And we'll spend some time talking about the quests as well. So first and foremost, both uh, a good quest, uh, both a quest required key, as well as probably one of the best loot locations uh, on customs is going to be your 314 marked key. Now a very, very expensive key up front, uh, especially early white, but a great key that if you can find 100% hold on to, this is going to be third story dorms. Mark circles can have a ton of really solid loot in them from weapons to cases, docks cases, uh, magazine cases, ammo boxes, I mean, you name it, that's inside of here. Uh, this is a very highly contested room and one of the other reasons that dorms get so much traffic. Um, so please just keep that in mind as you go to loot it. But there are two spawns specifically, both on the west and the east side that can get you into dorms very, very quickly. Uh, and honestly, out in some, 
in some instances before other players get there. So uh, this is required for a quest. We'll cover that here in a second, uh, but also just probably the best key for you to be able to pick up. In addition to that, I want to talk about the factory uh, emergency exit key. This is probably one of the best, if not the best, general use keys in all of Tarkov, actually. Uh, not only does it open up an extract for ZB13 on customs here, flip the switch, you go into the fortress area uh, and go into the basement. Uh, in addition, there is a pass through uh, between new gas and kind of old gas and the, the I call it the ZB13 switch building warehouse four um, that allows you to get through here. In addition, the factory emergency exit, exit key is used uh, on multiple exits in factory, as you would imagine, as it's aptly named. Um, and it's just a great general use key to have on you whenever you go to customs and whenever you go to factory. So uh, while not required specifically for any tasks, uh, this is probably the biggest key next to the marked key uh, that I would recommend that you have uh, as you jump into your journey here. All right, so outside of those keys, I want to spend just a minute talking about the other keys that I would definitely hang on to uh in order to find some solid loot and then we'll jump into the quest keys uh so the ones from a loot perspective that i'm going to recommend that you keep is dorm room 105 this is in two-story dorms dorm room 110 also in two-story dorms on the first floor dorm room 204 this is in three-story dorms your gas station office key uh which is going to be in new gas uh all of those keys have safes in them and especially if you're pushing into dorms or you're traveling through the new gas area the ability to jump in, grab a quick safe, especially one locked behind a door, uh, is going to be a good opportunity to find some quick, easy loot, some rubles, and potentially some really good, solid gold items uh, as well. So I strongly recommend having that complement of keys on you. We'll talk about a couple of keys uh, that are needed for quests that also have safes in them, specific to dorms, excuse me, specific to dorms. Uh, and I think these are some really solid standouts that again, depending on where you spawn and how you flow through the map and what you need to do, it just certainly does not hurt to, to keep a couple of these keys on you. One additional key that I really personally like is the portable cabin key. Now this is going to be near the trailer park area on the east side of the map. Um, and you actually can spawn very, very close to this. Uh, it's up on a second story of uh, stacked containers. The reason I like this key is inside this room, there's three simple things there's three jackets uh, which can be a really nice thing as again you're moving towards that extract or if you get that spawn be able to jump in that room customs is one of the best best maps for key farming just because of the large amount of jackets that are in the map and pretty well scattered out throughout the map um, so portable cabin key i strongly recommend this it's not required this one specifically isn't required for any quests but i like to keep this key on me just to always jump in there and can really help you top off or start a raid uh, with a couple of good jacket spawn. And again, we already talked about the factory exit key. I, I think, again, you have to have this one as far as moving through this map and giving yourself the option for ZB13 extract. Now let's jump in and let's talk about quest specific keys that you're gonna need. Uh, Tarkon Director's office key. Goes without saying there are multiple quests that are required for this one. This one can be found uh, in probably most commonly in filing cabinets. Uh, so make sure to be checking for those. It can also spawn in jackets. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. But if you find this key, uh, there is a barter through therapist, I believe. If you find this key, that's definitely one to save uh, as you jump into your journey. And it's going to be needed for some quite a few early quests, specifically with poor. Um, so be sure to, to hang on to this one. Dorm room 114, uh, another key uh, that is required for uh, a quest but also has a safe in it so this is be another key that i would recommend kind of this section of keys up here is the ones that i would recommend to keep from a loot perspective uh and this is right across from 110 so again the nice part about this is if you're jumping into two-story dorms boom you're hitting one door you're hitting the other you're grabbing both safes and, and you're rocking and rolling uh which is really nice i should also note that the tarkon director's office key does also have a safe in it in addition to some P, uh, PCs, a couple of jackets, and some pretty solid spawns as well. And then 214, also a required key. This is a three-story uh, three story dorms key, but also has a safe in it uh, as well. So there are two safes specifically on the second floor of two-story dorms, both 204 and 214 on opposite ends of the hallway, uh, which are great to jump in and obviously grab from a loot perspective. 
Now, a couple other keys. Machinery going to be probably one of the first keys that you actually need uh, in order to get. Uh, this is going to be uh, the key required for your checking your bronze pocket watch, if you're familiar. Um, it does have a consistent spawn inside of customs uh, and one that uh, you will need to pick up. The checkpoint key uh, is required for a quest, uh, trust regain specifically. Also a really solid key that, that barters for a lot of money. So if you're looking for a key or you come across this one, always pick this key up. It sells really solid to therapists and can be a, just a nice uh, addition uh, to your, uh, again, to your loot runs if you end up finding it. Then you have Dorm 203, you have Dorm 206, you have Dorm 220, Dorm 303. Uh, all Dorms keys required for different quests, and we'll jump into quests here in a second. Uh, so please just note all, all four of those uh, that are going to be required for you. A couple of them you will use more than once, uh, so just keep that in mind. You need the Portable Bunkhouse key uh, for a quest. Uh, this is specific to uh, kind of near the uh warehouse four and the zb13 uh power lever that you need to flip uh and is required for pretty early quest uh as well you need the trailer park portable cabin key you're actually going to be given this key um but it is one that if you do find make sure you hang on to it you are going to need this uh for a quest as well gas station storage room key you only need for a therapist quest uh if you choose basically if you need to get trust regain and i'll talk about that but it is also a good key to have. It has two med bag spawns in it. So it's not a bad key if you're already planning to go into new gas uh, and running this gas station office key to grab the safe. This is literally the door next to it uh, and can provide some pretty good top off uh, uh, up on meds if you uh, end up finding yourself in new gas station. And then lastly, the unknown key, there's a specific spawn uh, or a consistent spawn for this key, uh, but it is needed for some uh, an early game quest. Uh, on customs as well so those are the complement of keys both quest related keys that you're going to need in addition to a handful of keys that i strongly recommend that you pick up in order to really just top off again on your stash runs uh your safe runs and your loot for the map especially if you plan on getting really comfortable in dorms and going there pretty frequently these are a really good set of keys to ensure that you're always grabbing some money also, in addition to that, safes are great, obviously, for picking up uh, rubles and can provide you a nice little extract if you forget to bring money in uh, to be able to use the car extract. So please do keep that in mind. All right. And with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. I should say, and I might not have said it at any point during the video, but uh, specific to customs, there is 36 total quests to be focused on across a variance of traders. So uh, there's a lot to do here. Again, a a map that a lot of folks are going to jump into and have to get very familiar with very quickly, uh, in large part because of so many of the early quests are focused on that map. In addition to it being, again, a really solid map to pick up some loot, especially with stash runs and the dorms location and a few others. Um, so hopefully this map guide was really helpful for you. Um, again, in the comments below, please let me know if there's any in additional information that you want me to cover. If there's anything really specific and you have some experience with Tarkov, please drop that down below. Uh, for again, for those that are new, could go and take a look at the comments and, and pick up any additional tidbits. If there's additional sections of information that you want me to cover, maybe in a future map uh, overview video, please let me know. Or we can certainly do some follow-up videos. Specific again, there's just so much information to talk about, especially when it comes to loot uh, and some of those other things. So please let me know down in the comments below. I got to put in the shameless plug here uh, up front or near the end, I guess, uh, to say that uh, we just do appreciate all the support on the channel. If you've watched to this point, thank you so much. If you are new, like, comment, subscribe. We have a ton of teaching Tarkov videos up. We have a couple of different series running as well, hardcore series. We have an escape series. Plus, we do just some other random stuff uh, throughout the week as well. So a ton of EFT content. We look forward to you for you checking out uh, more of that. In addition, we do stream on Twitch Fridays and Saturdays, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. So if you're looking for a cool place to hang out, we also do stream kind of randomly throughout the week. Uh, but Fridays and Saturdays is the best time to catch us. Uh, I have links for that in the description, Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. If you want to come over, join a cool growing community on Discord. We got a lot of folks that play EFT over there. Great place to chat with us in addition to that. And we do post whenever we're going live as well as whenever new videos go up. Uh, so if you want to just stay in tune with the channel, that's a great place to be. Last thing, I do have to put a, just a really quick little plug. If you're looking for some uh, some gear uh, for your PC, we got a couple of links for some stuff that I personally use and would certainly vouch for. Uh, so if you're looking for that, there's some good opportunities down below. 
as well. With that being said, we'll wrap this one up. Hopefully, again, it was helpful for you. And thank you again so much for the support on the channel. I've been Doc, Average Gamer Guys. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next Escape from Tarkov video. Peace.